economic recovery plan includes tax credits for home buyers. Local realtors say that can save you thousands of dollars. News on 6 reporter Jeffrey Smith breaks down the reasons why lenders say the stimulus is good news for green country tonight. The economic stimulus offers home buyers an $8,000 tax credit. Mortgage lenders like Clay Clark says it's the best time in 30 years to buy a home. It's a sweet deal. That's what I was saying. I guess uh, it's a great deal short term for people. That credit is meant to shore up the mortgage crisis in states like California. But because Oklahoma's housing bubble hasn't burst, folks can save a lot of money. People right now are very, very concerned that they have to pay it back. They go, well, do I have to pay this back? Uh, you don't have to pay it back. A lot of people ask, well, can I use this towards the purchase of a rental home? You can't do it. It's towards a, towards a primary residence. But like a late night infomercial, you have to act now. Clark says at the end of the year, the Fed will dramatically raise the 5% interest rate. If the government's pouring more water uh, in the uh, uh, currency Kool-Aid, so to speak, we're diluting it over time, which would cause pretty rapid inflation. Realtors say home buyers also have the chance to consolidate debt into a new mortgage. We've got the stimulus package going on. We've got interest rates are really low. There's houses are just coming up on the market. There's a lot to choose from. Mortgage lenders say if you live in an apartment and pay less than $900 a month in rent, you could now move into a new house for the same rate. If you're prepared to move into Owasso or Claremore or Coweta, areas that are qualified for rural development loans, you can get 100% financing at a 5% rate. So what I'm saying is you pay less than you're paying for your apartment, moving into a brand new house, I mean, new construction. He says now is the time to put your foot down on a new Oklahoma home. Jeffrey Smith, the News on 6 tonight. You don't have to be a first time homeowner to receive the tax credit as long as you haven't bought a home in the last three years. If you want to catch our entire interview with Clay Clark, we've put it up on our website, newson6.com.